Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video we are going to dive into some potentially huge news regarding Iraq's currency and the country's plans for a major monetary reform and revaluation. This involves the Iraqi dinar exchange rate, executive orders from the US government, and funds that have been frozen for years that may now be released. At the center of this is an individual named Frank 26, who is described as an intel guru by some in the dinar investor community. Frank 26 has been putting out intel claims that a few recent events have set the wheels in motion for Iraq to raise the value of their currency through a revaluation or reinstatement. According to Frank 26, a key part of this is the release of what are called the DFI funds money that belongs to Iraq but has been frozen due to sanctions and executive orders by the United States government going back decades when Saddam Hussein was in power. Executive Order 13303, specifically, Frank 26 claims that Executive Order 13303 signed by former President George W. Bush in 2003 was the domino effect that also restricted the DFI funds from being accessed by Iraq. And because President Biden has not resigned or canceled that executive order, Frank 26 believes it means those DFI funds are now free as a bird to be repatriated back to Iraq's control. The theory being put forth is that with those DFI funds finally released back to Iraq after nearly 20 years of being frozen, it will allow the nation to finally revalue and strengthen their currency, the Iraqi dinar. A higher value dinar would increase the purchasing power for Iraqi citizens in the country's economy. Dinar revaluation slash reinstatement. This flows into the long standing claims by some that the Iraqi dinar currency is drastically undervalued on the global market, and that a reinstatement to a higher level is not only possible but likely coming at some point, whether through a law or revaluation. Having the DFI funds would theoretically give Iraq more resources to help facilitate that transition. Now, whether you buy into these theories or not, there's no doubt that Iraq's economy and currency situation has been severely held back by sanctions, conflict, and systematic issues for decades. If what Frank 26 is claiming does happen to come to fruition, it could have major impacts. But we'll have to wait and see what happens next in this long-running saga. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.